Hi folks, we're back with more Ready Training, and today we're going to look at work groups. I worked on this early in the previous assignment. I had an issue with these stalls. They just would not work probably with the work group. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how we can get around that. Or if you have any other way, let me know. And by the way, please follow the series from the beginning. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. So now the first thing we want to do here is I want to make a work group out of this. And then I'm going to edit the work group and add my other elements. Um, so right now, I think I got enough to go with here. It might be something missing, but we can add it or delete it. So what I want to do here, I want to go to my uh, modify tab. I want to create a group. <laughs> and this will be toilet. This will be a toilet group. I'm going to say OK. And then we'll get this green screen, and then we get this dialog box here. Uh, you can add. You can do mostly anything in here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add, and I'm going to add these elements to our group. The pull bars, this, this. So all the equipment in here. Uh, leave a, uh, we'll put that in, that in, that, that, and that. Now. To get away from that problem I had, we want to go and add the stalls. I'm hoping this will work this time. Uh, I'm going to go to my architecture component, place component, and that component is going to be my stall. There it is. It's the big one, the 60 by 60. So I'm going to place it. I'm going to place uh, This might work for me. I'm going to place it right there. Then I got another one here. I'm going to take that around. That one's, there you go. I'll place it right there. So that looks good. And then another thing we have, we got, okay, we can add our mirror in here. So we can go add. And I'll bring in this mirror. And then. I can also, I think I can copy this guy too. Yep, I can copy it. I'm going to copy it on the other wall, on the other side. Uh-oh, I don't have a center point. That one here. No, so I'm going to just guess it and go in there and fix it. Uh, let's see about right there. Okay, looks pretty good. Yep. Okay, so there's our group. Let me add more items here. So I think we got everything in our group, and I'm going to finish it. Okay, so there's our group. Everything should be intact now. I had problems moving this thing around because of the stalls, but the stalls are now part of the group. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go down to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this wall right here, and I want to paste them to my second level. Okay, remember what we got to do there. We got to fix that ceiling and that opening, you know, right here. And that's happening down now on level two. So that wall came across right, right here. Good. So now what I want to do here, uh, I want to match these walls. Because we don't need jet board on the outside of this because we've got plumbing coming through here. Okay, so now I'm going to cancel that. And now I'm going to bring in my work group, and hopefully it'll work properly. If it doesn't, oh, well. oh, actually, you have to do a little couple things here. Let's go into our level one ceiling. And we need to create this opening here as well. So I'm going to edit this boundary for the ceiling and just pull this there and finish it. Okay, so there goes our opening here that we need in the ceiling for level one. Now let's go back to level two. Okay, uh, now here, there's gonna be an opening in the floor. So we're gonna edit this. And we'll just put a void space here. And I'll finish it. 
So there we have our opening. Now we bring in our work group. Click on the architecture tab, model group, place work group, and there it is. Now I hope it's going to just sit right there. And we finish. Okay, we still had an issue with these stalls. I don't know why they don't work properly. But what I'll do is uh, Let's see if I can edit this thing again, see what happens. Just delete this one out. Just, oh boy, look at that. It just went goofy. I might leave these alone, because I don't know why they won't work properly. Anybody know, let me know. Because, um, did that 45. Okay. oh, wait a minute. Use these arrows, I guess. Now I should be able to rotate it. I do want to go that way, I think. Oh boy. Anyway. Okay. These things are really goofy, man. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to just delete them out. I'm going to undo this back to where I was, where it worked. So for some reason, the placement here, so if I go place this, Okay, it's good, but all right. So, and once I finish it, that's when the problem comes. See, group elements had to be moved to the project. This is because they were not consistent with the group. But okay, so to get around that, this is what you do. I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to go back to level one. I'm sorry, level one. And I'm going to just ungroup this. This is the best way to do this. And then I'm going to my old cut and paste to select the levels. And this will be level two. Now, if something goes wrong with that family now, too bad. Now we're going to go up to level two. And something's still wrong with that family. It does not like the group. So I guess you just place them in here. But anyway, uh, yeah, I just want to run through this group thing with you. I struggle with this little issue here. Uh, somebody knows how to uh, fix this. It will be much appreciated. So I'll put this in there. Ah, there it is. Let's just place it here. No arrows. Man. Let's see if I can just mirror this one. I have to look at this family and see why it's working like this, but you won't have this problem with creating groups. So you still let them work. So delete. That one out, and I'll just see if I can place it again. That's the plane I want. No, it's not, but I'll take it for now. Let's see if I can just flip it. Yeah, there you go. Man, that was a tough one. So now we look at other things here like cabinets. So there's our bathroom on both levels. We got level one and level two bathrooms done, and then from level one. What you can do here, you can now open these views up and do your detailing and everything, but you can do it in one typical view. So, hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video. I just wanted to clarify how these groups work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Please subscribe. Thank you.